What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon with Main Street and Beyond Travel Company and today we are checking out another room and resort tour and we are at the Pop Century if you couldn't tell me uh, by my background here. So I'm going to show you guys the room. I'm going to show you guys transportation, all the buildings, all the pools, the food, the shopping. I'm excited. Let's get started. For those of you who don't know, the Pop Century is one of the value resorts here at Disney World. Um, it is on the Skyliner route, which is nice, we'll get into that later, but it is themed around like the 1900th century. So they have a 50s area, a 60s area, 70s, 80s, and 90s. I'm going to show you what each of those look like. Um, and it's really fun. There's a lot of cute little figures around for kids to take pictures with. They have cool little sayings from each decade up on the buildings. Um, our room is ready already, which is great. It's only 9 a.m., but our room is ready. So I'm going to show you guys a room tour, and then we're going to do a resort property tour. All right, welcome to our room at the Pop Century. I'm excited because I really like these rooms. They're very modern. They just redid them. You can see the floors are really nice. They have a modern like little dresser here for you guys if you guys want to put your clothes away. Um, a nice large TV for everyone. And you can see if you are getting two rooms or you're traveling with people, we do have rooms with a connecting door. So that way you guys can all like open those doors up and be all together. Um, I wanna show you over here a little kitchenette area that they have, which is really cute. They've got an ice bucket for you, some coffee cups, water cups, um, coffee creamer and stuff down here and a little machine. They also have a fridge. Now one thing I do want to point out though is that they do not have microwaves in these rooms here. So just keep that in mind as you start preparing for your vacation. Um, I'm going to come back to this bed. This um, bed, well this table will transform into a bed and I'll show you how that works in a second. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the bathroom. There are some hooks here for you to put anything on that you need to. A nice sliding door, very modern. I'm disappearing. <laughs> very easy to slide open. And they have this little cubby area here, which is very handy for you to place items, as well as tons of bathroom storage and ironing board if you should need it. Extra toilet paper, tissues, blow dryer, um, iron. So you can see there's a lot of really good stuff here. They do give you a little thing of facial soap, which is nice. I love the Disney H2O products, they're so good. You're going to have a pull-out mirror. Hello. Let's flip it the other way. It's going to be like super... Whoa, hello. <laughs> All right, so really nice mirror for getting ready in the morning. Huge mirror with lights here. Um, you can also get a full-length mirror on the back of this door. Um, so it's a separate toilet and sink area, which I personally really like. So somebody can be showering while somebody else is getting ready over here, which is great. Um, again, still very modern. You have these nice showers with, again, those Disney H2O products that I love. Really nice rain shower. Can't wait to take a shower now later. Um, but yeah, pretty normal looking bathroom. Um, and then let me come back out here into the room. Really cute little Mickey decor up top. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this bed comes down. While I'm doing this uh, resort room tour here, I do want to mention that these rooms at Pop Century only hold up to four adults, so or two adults, two kids, however you wanna do it. Four people max can be in these rooms, two people on that bed, two people on this pull-down bed here. But if you have a larger family, you can split it up and get a room with a connecting door. Um, that way you guys can all be together and open the door and make it feel a little bit bigger. Um, normally when I have larger families, I'll split it up into one adult in each room and then put multiple of the kids in each room and they seem to like doing it that way. All right, really simple. We're just sliding the chairs out of the way here. 
So you can slide these somewhere at night and you just simply pull them out of the bed. It's super easy. Super easy to pull down. And there we go. Now you have a bed. It's awesome. Nice big double beds in here. Really cute little Pluto up there. You can see him coming down. But it's so easy to like make and then put these beds back up. Let's say if you guys will all want to eat dinner in the room, you just slide this back up. Perfect. Put the chairs back in place. And you are all set. There we go. Hope you guys like the room tour. Let's go tour the rest of the resort. All right, I wanted to just show you guys an overall map of the resort. You will get one of these when you check in. So here's the check-in area. This is also where the bus stop is gonna be located. And I'm gonna show all you guys this stuff here in a second. We are in the 60s building, which is uh, considered one of the preferred rooms here at Pop Century because it's close to the lobby as well as the Skyliner and buses. Um, 70s also has some preferred rooms as well as the 50s. Uh, and then the farthest out rooms are going to be the 80s and 90s, and those are going to be your standard rooms that you book. So if you book those, you'll just have to walk this path over to the buses, but we'll time all that for you guys uh, later, and it will be a pretty decent walk to get to the Skyliner too. But like I said, we're going to time it. I'm going to go show you guys some of these pools, uh, some of the buildings. So let's go explore the Pop Century. Right outside these 60s buildings here is their main pool, the Hippy Dippy Pool shaped like a large flower petal it is really cute normally full of kids when it's not 55 degrees in florida and early in the morning um so that is great and that, again that is the main pool and it's in between these 60s buildings here now if i were to keep walking past through these buildings that is how i get to the skyliner these are like i just said in my video current uh currently preferred rooms that is because the skyliner is right there the main pool is right here and then the check-in area lobby food all that good stuff is right over here and that is where we actually checked into they actually upgraded us so nicely upon arrival um to a preferred room pedals over here is the pool bar maybe that will be open later and we can grab a drink but i think i'm gonna go ahead and start out by giving you guys a tour of the 50s section which we get to by just walking right over here so let's go check out the 50s building I wanted to stop here on our way over to check out the 50 section to show you guys just a little bit bigger of a map so you can see we are right here right outside the main lobby if we go to our right that's where we'll go to the 50s section your 60s again 70s 80s and 90s all right well welcome to the 50s section that was a real quick walk maybe a minute a minute or two um this place is real hip real hip it's cool it's awesome. I really like it. <laughs> I'm reading the signs on top of the buildings to figure out what to say to you guys on how to describe it. Um, but here they have um, a Lady and the Tramp statues. So if your kids like Lady and the Tramp, be sure to take them here to get your pictures with them. I'm gonna show you guys they have a nice pool with a little jukebox there. The pool is shaped like a bowling pin, which I think is so adorable. And they're playing like old 50s music. I personally, love the 50s section it is so cute in this resort if you have anybody who likes that era here is that pool i was talking about and if you guys can hear the music in the background i love it oh my gosh look at they even have like a little bowling rack that is so cute i seriously love this area it's adorable and so convenient too i just love some of the scenery here you can see the big huge decade numbers if you have anybody who wants to take a picture in front of those all right, I left the 50s section. I'm currently walking back past the lobby area, the shops, dining, and I am heading over into the 70s section, which is just to the left of the main building. Right before you get to the 70s section, there's a goofy photo op if you guys want to have your kids take a picture there. It's really cute. Again, not a bad walk at all. Maybe a minute and a half, two minutes at absolute most to get over here to this really groovy 70s section that really just makes me want to get down through all my polyester yeah i'm liking it right in the middle of the 70s section they don't have a pool but they have this giant foosball game which is really fun when there's when this place has a lot of kids they're always running through here um, pretending to be playing it's really really cute now one of the best 
photo ops in the 70s section is going to be this giant Mickey telephone. I don't know if you guys ever had one of these, but my mom definitely did and I remembered it in our house. So that's really, really cute. The giant Mickey. Again, here's the giant foosball. And then over here we have a giant, a very giant big wheel <laughs> for your kids to take pictures with. Don't climb on it, but you can take really cute pictures with it. So 70s section, some of the rooms here are going to be preferred rooms and some of them will be standard rooms, depending on how far they are from the main lobby. All right, I have made my way to the back of the 70s section. We're going to go check out the 80s and 90s sections next. These are going to be a little bit further away from the lobby. So I would say maybe about a five minute walk or so, five to 10 minutes, depending on if you have kids and things and if they want to stop and take pictures. Um, and then once I show you the 80s and 90s, I'm also going to show you how long it takes me to walk to the Skyliner and bus station. So let's go check out the 80s and 90s. Coming up on the 80s section here, you can see a very large scale Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head if you want to get a picture and some giant Rubik's Cubes. This section looks rad. All right, so I want to show you guys a little bit of how this side of the resort works. So you have two buildings here, this one and this one, that are part of the 80s section. And then back here you have two more buildings that are going to be part of the 90s section. So it's all kind of just two buildings here and there. Um, let's go check out that pool. All right, you can see you have a giant Roger Rabbit here in the 80s section. Not sure what that means, but it is totally awesome. Super rad, super psyched out right now to be in the 80s section. Over here on this side, we have a giant Walkman. Again, mom, if you're watching, what is this? I'm a 90s baby. This makes sense to me. I know the computers and the floppy disks. What is this? <laughs> All right, the 80s and 90s section have their own pool and it is considered the computer pool. You can see the giant computer back there in the background so if you guys want to take a quick dip and not walk all the way over to the hippy dippy pool in that 60s section which would be about maybe a seven minute walk or so from back here in the 90s you can just take a dip right here in the computer pool i mean it's whatever right we just got to keep it real keep it real and get in the computer pool all right i do want to time how long it is going to take to walk from this area of the resort to the Skyliner. So I just started my timer. Let's head to the Skyliner. On my walk here, I am enjoying reading some of these signs here. They are located all over the property. Tell you different things that were happening at different years in each decade. All right, while I'm on this walk over to enjoy the Skyliner, I do want to mention that I am a travel agent who specializes in all things Disney. So if you would like to get a free quote from me, just head to MainStreetAndBeyondTravel.com slash quote. And then I can help you get all this set up for completely free. Shoot me any questions, call me, text me, whatever you want to do, and I'll help you get your vacation set up. Again, just visit my website, tons of tips on there watch my YouTube videos, subscribe and like. I try to give you guys as much content as I can to make your Disney vacation as easy and as stress-free as, free as possible. Um, we're about halfway there, not too bad. Keep an eye on the time. I can see the Skyliner station over here in the distance and then over here is the Art of Animation Resort. Oh, 1971. Walt Disney World Resort opens in Orlando, Florida. All right, well, I have officially made it to the Skyliner station from the 80s and 90s area. It took actually almost exactly seven minutes. So that can just be something you guys consider when you are staying here. Those are pretty far out. Seven minutes may not seem like a lot, but when you're heading back from Hollywood Studios in a day of walking, Epcot in a day of walking, that can be extremely tiring for little ones. So it may be worth looking into getting a preferred room so you can be in a preferred location. From our room, it maybe will take a minute or two to walk to the Skyliner at absolute most. So again, you may not want to spend the extra money, but it may be worth it um, just a little bit to, to get kind of closer. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be about the same for the buses, but I want to hop on the Skyliner real quick and show you guys what it's like. <laughs> Oh, yay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, you are all safe. 
Thank you. All right, well, I am officially on the Skyliner here, headed over to Caribbean Beach. That is because Caribbean Beach is the central hub for the Skyliner. So if you're staying at we uh, our, uh, our animation or pop century you will just need to take the skyliner over to caribbean beach where you're then going to get off and transfer to either hollywood studios or epcot depending Welcome on which one the you are going to here. sorry this is loud all right once you get to caribbean beach you're going to have to jump in the end of this line here to get into the line for hollywood studios or epcot i'm assuming all everybody here is for hollywood studios but it really doesn't take as long as it looks i had to stand in it before maybe five ten minutes so not too bad is disney's pop century resort a memorable resort that celebrates the way we lived played and communicated with each other throughout the 20th century all right i got off the skyliner currently walking back through the 60s section gonna show you guys the lobby check-in area uh the shop and dining all right, here I am inside the main lobby. Those are going to be the doors that drop you off if you're on the Magical Express. Here are some other doors you can get in to get out to the main Disney transportation. The buses are right out those doors there. Pretty large check-in area. It's cool to kind of check out some of their uh, photos of memorabilia from each decade in here. So that is really, really cute. Areas for your kids to sit down while you finish checking in. And then their store is called Everything Pop. Let's go see if we can find some Pop Century merchandise. All right, I'm not seeing anything actually, which is really weird specifically for the Pop Century. But I do want to show you guys here that every single Skyliner resort does have their own like Skyliner collection with really cute things. You have coffee mugs, t-shirts, and socks. And I am in love with this windbreaker here, which is so cute. So if you guys see me take a picture of that, just know I got it. Right through the gift shop here is their food court area, pretty similar to my Art of Animation food, and pretty much the same food too, like pizzas, burgers, hot dogs, uh, just pretty basic cafeteria style food here at the Value Resorts. When you upgrade to a moderate or a deluxe, that's when you get some of the better quick service food um, versus here at the Value. All right, I have came back out here to the very front of the resort. This is where you're gonna pick up to get on the Disney buses. I do want to mention that Disney says that they start running their buses about 30 minutes before a park opens. They actually start running them about 45 minutes to an hour before a park opens, so be sure to get out here. Be one of the first to the park because you're going to avoid some of those longer lines. Um, that's always the best way to do a Disney vacation. And again, over here just outside the lobby, you can see the Magical Express, aka the Tragical Express, because you are heading back home and leaving Disney is over here to pick you up to take you back to the airport. Okay, well I hope you guys enjoyed my little walking tour here of the Pop Century and the room tour and hopefully that gave you a good idea of maybe if you want to stay here, maybe not. Um, I do want to finish by closing um, or by mentioning some of my things that I like and don't like about this resort to hopefully help some of you out make the decision. Um, some pros of this resort, I love that it's on the Disney Skyliner. That is the biggest benefit. It is so nice having that transportation option to Hollywood Studios and to Epcot. And I really like the theming. The theming of this resort is so cute. There's tons of cute statues that your kids can take pictures with um, and everything. I also really like how updated the rooms are. Like they're so modern, so nice. I love that they have the table that folds down into another bed, so it gives you kind of an option there. Um, some things that I don't like about it, I don't like the food here, but I don't like food in general at Value Resorts. However, if you don't plan really on eating at the resort anyways, then you're good to go. You can eat once you get to the parks and find some better food. Um, these temp, uh, Value Resorts also tend to be very, very crowded. Just know that because of their um, budget value, there's gonna be a lot of people here, a lot of kids, which isn't a big deal. Um, I also don't like that there's only one bus stop. Um, when you move up to moderate and deluxe resorts, there's going to be, sometimes deluxe resorts, there's going to be multiple bus stops for you to be able to walk to versus having to only walk to one bus stop here at the Pop Century. That's kind of a bit of a far walk if you're staying in those 80s and 90s sections. Um, but overall, it's 
an absolutely amazing resort. I love staying here. I personally stay here quite often just because of the fact that I like the updated rooms. So um, hopefully, like I said, this video helped. If it did, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to go back to booking some Disney vacations. And until next time, guys, stay magical.